everyone and thanks for tuning in. This is Clint Hansen from Aspica Sports Hospital in Doha, Qatar. And today I'm going to talk to you about a recently published article in International Biomechanics. This study was conducted in collaboration with the Sorbonne University in France and in this and it is entitled In Vivo Analysis of Nerve Regeneration After Sciatic Nerve Injury in a Rat Model. So the nervous system controls muscular action that in turn regulates locomotion and posture. So damage of the peripheral nervous system influences the movement control, especially injuries of the nerves themselves, for example a nerve lesion, result in a loss of motor functionality and can actually relate to restricted mobility and lifelong disability. In this research, we conducted a nerve injury in a rat model. So for that, we conducted an injury in the rat's right leg and removed five millimeters of nerve tissue before repairing it with a nerve conduit that you can see in the black circle on the picture on the right. So to evaluate the nerve regeneration in the animal model, a 3D motion capture system was used to evaluate the animal's walking pattern after three and six months post-surgery. On the left you can see the markers on a small little figure and on the right you can see the marker placement on the rat itself. Joint kinematics were extracted from the labeled 3D marker positions and the angles of interest were the hip angle, knee angle and the ankle angle. On the left you can see the schematic of the hip, knee and ankle angle and on the right you can actually see the setup where the rat is walking over a small wooden plank and on the globe picture on the right you can see actually the 3D reconstruction of the biform system. After the second motion capture session at six months post-operation, the animals were put down and histological tests were conducted. So only small changes in the kinematics were, obse were observed. If you have a look at the knee angle three months post and six months post-operation. However, the histological results show nerve regeneration throughout the nerve graft. So our experimental data do not demonstrate a significant change in kinematic parameters or differences in the angular variability of the joint with more healing time. This may be due to the lack of motor activity. A therapeutic treatment could improve the motor functionality in the operated limb of the rat. With human experimentation, three-dimensional kinematic gait analysis is used as, perf as a performance indicator of the deficit or rehabilitation process of the neuromuscular skeletal system and used as a clinical tool for diagnosis. So the outcome of our study has to be subject to further investigations in order to improve and validate personalized models for clinical diagnosis. If you are interested in following this research or my current employee Aspita Please feel free to follow us on Twitter and have a look at the last issue of the Aspeta Journal. Thanks for watching and keep in touch.